Hello everyone, this is Huang Yue with CGTN and welcome to our live stream in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia. So as this year marks the 10th anniversary of the China proposed Belt and Road Initiative, we have embarked on a journey traveling to various countries along the Belt and Road Initiative. And today we have arrived in the East, uh, East Africa in the capital city of Ethiopia. We've learned that there is a very large uh, man, uh, footwear manufacturing base uh, here in this capital city so today we are going to visit uh, the factories the factory the workshop here and uh, we will learn more about this company and I'm very honored to be joined by Dr. Kalu from the company to tell us more hello uh, Dr. Kalu very nice to meet you so hi. first and foremost could you please say hi to our audience and introduce yourself a little bit okay hi everybody uh, just welcome uh, I'm very happy to see you all around uh, thank you very much for the anniversary I'm also part of the Chinese because as I'm working in Ch in Chinese company, I feel that I'm a Chinese and the Chinese is my home. So happy anniversary for all of you and a hi. So I'm very honored to introduce Huajian Group in Ethiopia. Uh, this Huajian Group is one of the very large uh, group in Ethiopia, which is producing high quality shoe for Europeans, Americans, and African market. And by, but after COVID, we are producing uh, high quality shoe for Ethiopian actually. So uh, this is a very big company, one of the biggest company in Ethiopia we have uh, in terms of employment, in terms of uh, uh, job opportunity, in terms of capital accumulation, in terms of export volume, in terms of production capacity. This is one of incompatible, uh, incompatible. It means one of the biggest company in Ethiopia. Wow, very impressive. So one of the largest, one of the biggest companies here in Ethiopia. And we've learned that this is a um, major footwear manufacturer here in the country. But what kind of shoes uh, do you produce here? Can we uh, take a closer look in the workshop? Sure. Yeah, let's we, go. we are producing different kinds of shoe, mm -hmm. starting from ladies shoe. We also produce injection shoe, rubber shoe. And there are so many different kinds of shoes. And now these days we are producing military shoe. Let's take a visit at the manufacturing section of mm -hmm. military shoes. You yeah. mean yeah. military shoes for Ethiopian military army? We are we are producing. So this is one of the section we have to produce military shoe, actually. So the daily capacity of uh, this exactly this production line is nearly 2,500 per day, within a single shift. We are producing only eight hours. We have eight lines and three lines, as you can see. We have like nearly 1,500 employees in this section only. Uh, 1,500 1, employees in this section only, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This section we have 1,500 employees to only dedicated to produce military shoes. So uh, you mean that the, the shoes they are making right now is for the, uh, for the army in, of uh, Ethiopia? Yeah, of course, we are producing shoes, high quality shoes for Ethiopian army at the same time some of the the shoes goes to local markets uh, goes to local market so they're also uh, selling to local people here in Ethiopia in Addis Ababa yeah actually we can't directly sell as a retailing business is not allowed for foreign investors mm -hmm. we directly give to wholesalers who are demanding to buy from us mm -hmm. actually high quality high in the side shoes mm -hmm. that's how we are producing and just now you mentioned that the uh, the shoes produced by this company uh, used to export to European markets, to uh, the American market, but now after COVID, it only uh, sold uh, domestically here in Ethiopia. Sure. Uh, actually, yeah, the post-corona post corona economic scenario is totally different. Mm -hmm. uh, as we can learn from uh, the corona economy, corona is not pathological disease, mm -hmm. it's also economical disease. So most of the value chain and the most of the supply chain mm -hmm. has been already uh, broken down. Mm -hmm. And also in addition to that, our countries, there was instability in northern region. So that's because of that, Agoa was cancelled. Mm -hmm. That's why all of the export side was cancelled. Yes. We are ready to export mm -hmm. and we have also stock shoes. Mm -hmm. We were working very, very, with very known high brand shoes. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately that's, that happened. We are longing uh, Agoa to be resumed. Mm -hmm. that, that was the reason. Because of that one, uh, government has already requested uh, Huajian Group to make import substitution. Yes. Because uh, this is one of the package of technology transfer for Ethiopian companies. Also, the Ethiopian companies is going to are going to learn from this company how to satisfy the market, yes. how to make delivery. Mm -hmm. 
how to deal with customers. Those are one of the packages of management know-how transfer. So this, that's why we are producing for local market. It's not to compete against the local entities, it's to, 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 to make a lesson for them. Mm -hmm. That's how we are working now. So uh, uh, shall we uh, take a closer look at those workers? Because I, I can see they are very busy now. Can we sure, take a closer sure, look? Sure, sure. You, yes. can, you can. And take also, a uh, I'm very curious that uh, how many uh, employees in total, how many uh, workers in total are there in your factory here? In fact, uh, pre-corona, pre-corona, we had 8,000 employees. Mm -hmm. Right now, because of the market size, we are downsizing mm -hmm. to like nearly 2,000 employees. Mm -hmm. But in the coming, in the coming December. Up to the coming the new year, where we, we we have planned to have three thousand employees. Okay. So after the recruitment, are you going to provide some like training sessions to the workers? Of course, you know this company should make induction training. Mm -hmm. They are going to take company culture, organizational culture training. They also take the human human element, human resource directives. We also give training on how to handle safety. All those are the packages of training we must give them. Yes. So after that, after they get trained on the culture, organizational culture, yes. they immediately join the production line. Mm. That's how we train and uh, execute our human resource. Yes. So I can tell that um, almost all the workers are from local, are, are local people, right? Yeah. So uh, 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 are there any Chinese employees here? Sure, in fact, you know, this is a shoe manufacturing technology. We want to transfer technology from China to Ethiopia. How to manufacture? The manufacturing know-how, management know-how. There are some employees of Chinese, but most of them, more than 80% should be Ethiopians, yes. also by law. Yes. So most of the Ethiopians now producing this shoe, they were uh, previously, they, they have no knowledge of producing shoe. But right now they have learned to make shoe here inside Ethiopia. Yes. That's one of the major benefits yes. we, we get from the Chinese. Yes. And also, I, I'm, very, uh, I'm also very curious that about their salaries. I'm not, I, I don't know whether it's polite to ask whether, uh, how much can they make, how, how much can they earn in one month? In fact, in, in Ethiopia, uh, there is no uh, minimum wage fixed. Mm -hmm. So the, the salary is based on negotiation. Mm -hmm. Negotiation, you have to negotiate with employees, uh, there are packages of welfare actually we, we we give them employment welfare like transportation in fact it could not be uh, comfortable to, to, to just point out or to figure out how much but I suspect to the average to the average they will get not less than four thousand five hundred four thousand five hundred that's yeah. about uh, um, four four thousand five hundred that's about uh, over five hundred yuan probably that one but it doesn't mean that that's the only payment uh -huh. but there are transportation payment we also give meal yeah. meal for free oh. so that is one of how we actually control the employment turnover mm -hmm. uh, in fact when we calculate our turnover it is only three percent okay. which is less than the standard so is this salary very compatible in Ethiopian markets? I mean, every on, on average, how much can a worker earn uh, for for a month? In fact, according to ILO, our salary is more than average. More than average. Yeah, according to ILO, mm -hmm. that's it. So, uh, uh, <coughs> like like you mentioned, that the, the order the, the the shoes they're making right now are the order from the military. So you mainly get orders from the government. Are there any other uh, companies or markets that pl place orders yeah. from your company? In fact, our our customers are not only government, but uh, when we get orders from government, we produce. Mostly, we want to make a business for with enterprises, yes. with different Ethiopian wholesalers. Mm -hmm. As we are not directly engaged in retail business, we have to give wholesale mm -hmm. to the Ethiopian uh, customers. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, one of the line that you are looking at is uh, Vans shoe. It's yes. a kind of one shoe. Yes. It's a kind of that one. Mm -hmm. So we are producing for one of the local customer. Oh, for, for local customer. Yeah, one of the local customer. Okay, so that's uh, a, a specific uh, brand yeah. that we, we may not be able to mention the brand, but yeah, it's yeah, a specific yeah. brand for the local uh, for a local sure. uh, company. But I mean, this is a canvas shoe used for uh, produce using vulcanization. Mm -hmm. What I mean is, it's a kind of ones. Mm -hmm. We should not mention the brand. I know. But this is one of the local customers we have. Okay. 
one of the biggest. Okay. So how many orders can you receive for a year? In fact, you know, our installed capacity is 15,000 pairs of shoe within a day. Within a day? That means we can produce 45,000 pairs of shoe within one day in, in three shifts. Oh. That means we can, we can accept any, any orders. Mm -hmm. We don't have any limitations of capacity. Mm -hmm. We don't have limitations of power. We don't have limitation of employment. So we can accept as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Because we have been producing like nearly 2.5 million pairs of shoe. Mm -hmm. So we have a capacity, we have a knowledge, we have the technology. There is nothing which is going to restrain us to, to produce. And also, uh, we know that Ethiopia uh, has very good human resources, but in, apart from that, uh, how about the materials? Uh, where, where, it is, where do those materials from? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, I have to speak about my, my country. In Ethiopia, we have abundant employment, yes. abundant uh, young, not only young, but very trainable. Now, within a short period of time, you can train them. They can easily acquire technology. But when we come to the materials, we have a shortage of raw material. We only source raw materials from Ethiopia is leather, mm. because our leather is the best leather in the world yes, that everybody knows. Yes. So, but some of the materials, like for the outsoles, for some of the lining, toe cap, the stiffeners for to produce shoe, will be imported from China and different countries like Pakistan, Malaysia, and those things. So we import some of the materials. Uh, for especially bottom components from abroad, mm -hmm. May, majorly from China, okay. majorly. Yes. So uh, in addition to the shoes, what else, uh, what else do you uh, produce in this uh, factory? Actually in this factory we produce, in addition we also produce garment. Garment. We used to produce garment for European market, oh. but now we have also a garment unit which is out of this one, inside the compound, we can go and see mm -hmm. that one also. And I can see there is another workshop over there. What, what is that about? That is a garment manufacturing, one of the garment manufacturing unit. Mm -hmm. So what is what, the, one of the state of art manufacturing okay. unit? So, so we can go and see that yeah, one. Can, can we take a look over there? Sure. Yes. While we are on our way, can you tell us more about uh, your personal experience? How long have you been working here? Okay, I've been in, uh, in Huajian Group for the past almost a decade. I can't say a decade. Mm -hmm. I feel that Huajian is my home. Mm -hmm. Oh, you speak Chinese? <laughs> no, no, I speak little. <laughs> a, little a little bit. <laughs> a little. Uh -huh. But uh, I feel that Huajian is my, my home. Mm -hmm. Because the investor by himself think Ethiopia is his home, mm -hmm. his own home. Yes. So I'm very honored. I just worked uh, more than eight, eight years. Mm -hmm. And I have learned so many things from Chinese. And also Chinese learned many things from of me. Of course, of course. That is cultural. Yes. Uh, I teach them our culture and they taught them our, uh, my, my culture. Yes. So that is... Uh, that is kind of like a cultural exchange. Yeah, cultural exchange. Yes. A kind of cultural exchange. Yes. And but I noticed there's a very interesting thing, because here in this factory we can see some... Uh, can I see banners here? Sure. This is the, about the company's value. Yeah. These the are love the, your family and sure. happy. These are the company values, missions and goals. Yes. So everybody should learn by himself. Mm -hmm. Everybody reads yes. whenever they go, mm -hmm. whenever they stand. The real, this is how you embed the cultural values, mm. the values in the employees. Yeah. This is not only here, also when you go to the cafeteria, uh -huh. you just find all the values uh -huh. outside there, out yeah. there. Yeah. So this is how we teach them. Yes. In addition to induction training we give them, mm -hmm. people are uh, very reluctant, you know, yeah. very negligent. So they will read and uh, understand. Yeah. This is how we engrave mm -hmm. the value, organizational value and culture mm -hmm. in employees. Mm -hmm. That's so it. which sentence is your favorite? For me personally, I love this the most, self-review for common promotion. Yeah, that self-review <laughs> for common promotion is uh, actually in Amharic, it says, Lagara oh, ergat oh, oh. Yes, oh, That's oh, in again? Amharic. How, how do you say Lagara that? ergat ras megem oh. See yourself to make a common development. Yes. Yeah, that's how. This mm -hmm. is one of the most important mm -hmm. element yeah. But I really love mm -hmm. just grow together. Yeah. Grow together is one of mm -hmm. love your country, loyal to society, love your work and love your company. That is the most important for me. Yes. I mean that I love that one. <laughs> so we yeah. grow together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at this uh, unit. Uh, you said that this unit is for garment. Yeah. This is garment manufacturing unit. Mm -hmm. We normally manufacture mm -hmm. trousers, polo shirts, mm. uh, aprons. Mm. and also complete suits. Mm. This is how we produce. So I, I can tell that they are making jeans right now. Yeah, right? this is denim. Denim, no, let's, uh, denim. Yes, denim let's take trouser. a look. 
Yes. Yeah. You can see this is denim trouser. Yes. A pocket. Yeah. Pocket of denim. Mm -hmm. Actually, this fabric is uh, import fabric. Imported. Yeah. From imp where? From China. From China. Or else, oh, okay. also we sometimes source from Ethiopia, uh -huh. Eastern Industry Park. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one of the denim fabric. Mm -hmm. This is an order from one of our customer, oh. one of the Chinese customer. We are making an order for them, mm -hmm. so they gave us order. So we are we we are just making this order. So when's the deadline? When do you need to hand those uh, f hand these products to them? In fact, always they give us 45 days mm -hmm. for the market, but this is a very continuous market. Mm -hmm, yes. Continuous. Mm -hmm. We have a deal and we have a contract with them mm -hmm. on delivery. We are very much strict mm -hmm. on delivery. Actually, mm -hmm. we are very much strict. Mm -hmm. We never been crossing the line. <laughs> Because that is one of the customer is a king. Mm -hmm. You have to treat customer like a king. Okay. That is so our this philosophy. is this is uh, the finished ones. This is the finished ones. Yeah. This yeah. is already. Uh, there is uh, online inspections to yeah. check the quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is where, where where the quality is going to be inspected. Mm -hmm. uh, there are quality people mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. There are production people. There are supervisors. They have different uniform. So they are going to inspect it here. Mm. So. This is how we work. We don't compromise on quality. We don't compromise on delivery. We don't compromise on satisfying customers. Mm -hmm. Our major motto is to satisfy customers. Mm -hmm. That is how we think and that is how we execute. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that uh, you just mentioned that before the COVID, the company uh, had uh, once had a total of over 8,000 employees in total. That's the peak time. Yeah. But after the COVID, uh, there might be some difficulties uh, like, uh, you know, uh, the quarantine issue, things like that, mm -hmm. that there might be some shortage in our personnel. So do you sure. have any expectations for the future? Uh, in fact, this post-COVID post economy is mm -hmm. a challenging economy. Yes. But in the future, we expect this, the company will again grow yeah. because uh, our plan of 10 years is, uh, is going to employ 50,000 employees mm -hmm. in the East Africa. Mm -hmm. For this specific company, we are going to employ like nearly 30,000 employees we have a very future hope. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm not optimist. I'm not pessimist. Mm -hmm. I'm very optimist about this yes. one. So I feel that this company is going to resume and again mm -hmm. create more job opportunities. Yes. That is what I think. Mm -hmm. The future is bright. Yes. That's how I think. Yes. Because mm -hmm. we have 13 months of sun, sunshine. Yes. So our future is also bright as of the sunshine course, we of have. Of course, of course. And actually yesterday when I uh, came here to talk with uh, some managers here, they're from China and they told me that when they first came here, uh, they think that this is a huge market because they have the very uh, good human resources and they have uh, support, uh, support policies from the government. Mm -hmm. And how do you think about these uh, 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 supportive policies from local government and what do you think the government should give more to our company? In fact, uh, the business doing environment in Ethiopia is very conducive in terms of policy. Mm -hmm. When we talk about policy, the policy is very good because there are incentive structures and package which is clearly written on law, mm -hmm. by law, and that is very supportive and uh, that is very affirmative uh, incentives. Uh, there is no actually, there is no special privilege for this company. Mm -hmm. uh, that package is already given for foreign direct investment. Are for as foreign direct investment we are part of that incentive mm -hmm. so that incentive is very very aff affirmative as in my own view mm -hmm. uh, even we are a very poor country mm -hmm. but we are giving more incentives for them even if you go to America I don't think you are, you, you get such incentives mm -hmm. that is how I feel and how I think yes yes and you know uh, just like we mentioned uh, at the beginning of our live stream that this year marks the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative and over the past decades uh, China and Africa uh, have established many uh, cooperation and have achieved many uh, fruitful results sure. for example in Addis Ababa we can see the Africa CDC the new mm -hmm. headquarters of the sure. Africa CDC sure. and uh, people always say that we are like brothers and sisters with uh, uh, with the African people sure. so uh, do you see any uh, more cooperation out, uh, outcomes in the future between China and Africa, between China and Ethiopia? Sure. You know, uh, in fact, I should say that the contribution of Huajan to the economic development is not uh, a kind of uh, insignificant. It's very significant because in the past 10 years, we have contributed like $200 million for the national economy, which is a very, very reasonable. During that time, our economic contribution was like 46 percent 
like a kind of 65% in shoe and 26% from the leather sector and also 7% from manufacturing sector. That is a very significant contribution. Yes. So that is uh, one of the biggest economic cooperation. Uh, in the future also we think that, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think the future host of Chinese investment is Ethiopia and East Africa. I believe that there will be much flow from China to Ethiopia because there is escalation of labor, labor price in, in China. It's three times of uh, three times of Ethiopia. You know, our city we have abundant labor, and the cost of uh, business doing is uh, very, very, very much less than China. Mm -hmm. I know that one. So in future, even I think more investment, mm -hmm. more investment flow, more investment cooperation. Moreover, China is a very, a very, a very good friend of uh, Ethiopia and diplomatically. Mm -hmm. And also, in addition, we are now the member of BRICS. Yes. Congratulations for yes. that one. Though. That more strengthens the Chinese and the Ethiopian government. And I do really want to thank you, the Chinese government, that even they allowed duty-free items of the duty affront during our difficulties. So that was a very significant brotherhood. So I feel that in the future, China and uh, Ethiopia will have the same, I wish if we have the same administration, mm -hmm. like brothers. Yes. In future, uh, I think that our economic cooperation would be more higher. That was what I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, although this uh, live stream is not very long, I believe many of our audience have already learned more about our factory, about our company, about mm -hmm. uh, our values and our contribution to the local society. So mm -hmm. uh, this is about this edition of our live stream on the Belt and the Road Initiative. We, CGTN will continue our journey around the world to different countries and bring you more live streams about the local society, local life, local community and mm -hmm. everything interesting from food to local companies sure. to the industries everything you want to know will be fine in our live stream so stay tuned thank you for watching bye bye thank you very much bye bye <laughs> thank you